Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of October. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. Um, if you don't believe in tarot, then I'm not the reader for you. If um, you're in a happily ever relationship, don't bother. Um, if this makes you feel confused, well, then, you know, this reading probably isn't for you. This right here is the Grand Lux Tarot deck. We're going to clarify with this deck over here. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. It's New Era Elements. That's going to be the deck that I clarify with. And then Sacred Traveler is the ending deck. Oh, huh. well, you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus got this as their very first card as well. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or this is you listening. Really, really listening. You know, listening to your higher power receiving guidance um, this is also a card of faith so we'll, we'll get some more cards and see what happens oh well but this is starting to have faith again so what the hell is this this is coming out of a dark period it's like coming out of the darkness so uh oh we have a contradiction here so, there's some kind of secret, perhaps. Somebody's keeping something to themselves. I'm not sure if it's you or the person you're dealing with, but somebody is not revealing the truth, perhaps. This is lack of communication, lack of compromise, lack of appreciation, lack of togetherness. Somebody is hiding something. Mm. You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual. I don't know who this person is. We have a negative Nelly in the house. Or around. Somebody that is a Debbie Downer. You may feel like you're being criticized or somebody has judged you incorrectly. You may be on guard, ready to pounce. Mm. Interesting. Let me make sure that this is focused. Okay, Libra, you may receive a message or some communication from somebody that is not what you want to hear, okay? You may be receiving some sort of message that is negative, okay? And they, somebody may be giving you this message because, you know, they want to bring you down, you know, just saying. You could be dealing with misery loves company, you know? This is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with somebody, could be any other sign, but you're dealing with somebody who... Oh, goodness, it's probably withholding something. They're withholding something, but probably wanting to cause a fight. So beware, beware. There could be an argument in the month. <laughs> probably more than one, right? But anyway, there's there's probably going to be, there could be a fight, okay? There could be some, but you're, you probably know, you probably, you might see this coming. You might be anticipating this. Okay, so I feel like you probably know something about this, okay? You're, it's not like you don't, something is up and your inner guide may be telling you something is up. If that's the case, then then listen, okay? Um, it feels like somebody, and this has to do with a new beginning, a lesson has been learned. You may receive some sort of communication from somebody that,
pushes you forward, you know, allows you to move forward in a, some certain direction. You know, and I do think that you're prepared for this. I really do. I think that you have been getting prepared for this. Um, it's like... If you get an invitation from somebody to come to go somewhere or to do something, just beware that it could be some kind of trap or, you know, and maybe it's not a trap. Maybe just beware. I don't think they have good intentions. They might have some hidden agendas here. So beware that somebody, it may be, you know, oh God, jealous of you even. I'm not sure what this is, but it's just like. You've definitely got somebody in your, oh, what's the word for it? Vicinity, you know, somebody that's in your life that is not, doesn't have your best intentions. So just keep that. I have to tell you that. Okay. So anyway, um, whew. they don't, oh, I'm going to clarify with this deck. Um, they may see that you are, are starting to feel more secure. And like I said, misery loves company. So they want to bring you down. They want to bring you back down to where you were. So just beware. Um, oh, God. Cruelty. Okay. So, I mean, this is like being ripped apart. This is the Nine of Swords. Okay, it is. I mean, it's like being ripped apart. Son of a bitch. Yeah, somebody doesn't want you to gain momentum. They don't want you to win. They don't want you to move forward. Somebody wants to keep you trapped, but they don't have good intentions. There you are. Remember to be logical in this situation. Okay? Try to keep yourself logical. You have a lot of wisdom back there. Don't forget who you are. Um, you, you're probably going to have to be assertive in this situation. You probably are. Bravery. And now this is the same card. They're both reversed. It is. It's the same card and they're both reversed. This is like somebody is trying to... Oh, cause a fight. Oh my God. It is. Just beware because it seems like somebody is going to criticize you. They're jealous. They're jealous of you. And I'm getting the goosebumps. So that's absolute clarification. Perfection. This is the Four of Wands reversed. Yeah, somebody doesn't want you to be happy. Fuck. What is the problem here? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I don't mean to swear. But this is the Four of Wands reverse. They don't want you to be content. They don't. work this is the three of pentacles just keep doing what you're doing keep doing what you're doing somebody sees somebody sees how hard of a worker you are they see that you can that you can do whatever you need to do they see that you're you're working really hard to change to have a new beginning and now they want it they want to bring you down son of a bitch five of this is five of cups they see that you're working hard to leave them behind you know they see that you are working hard to um deal with your loss you know to deal with your regrets they see that see that you're you're doing really really good that's what i see you're restoring faith in yourself you're dealing with your insecurities libra and now somebody's like going to come in to criticize you to, to bring you down a notch because 
you're you're getting something good you are because this is a good fortune it's the wheel of fortune it's change of course you're changing okay a new, you're starting a new chapter libra you are with the world card and the wheel of fortune card you guys are among a, a brand new chapter in your life one chapter is closing and something good is coming your way this is a destined change okay this is, it's a change of events and somebody doesn't want you to be happy seriously okay this is the ten of pentacles reversed they don't they're going to cause some problems this could be family related this could have to do with family issues because this is like family feuds you know it could be family re related i think that what's happening is 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 you are receiving some sort of um something good okay your life is changing for the better and it's not just because you got lucky it's because you've put in work, okay? You have. You've worked on healing. That's what it looks like to me. You've worked on something really, really hard. And now you're getting, you're getting something, something good. And this is good luck, but it's, it's something that you've worked for. It's not like you didn't work for it. You had to, you had to deal with a lot of, of uh, you've had to deal with some sort of loss, okay? And that's hard work to get over that. So anyway, I feel like, Somebody just doesn't want you to be abundant. They don't want you to be happy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, I don't know who this person is, but I mean, this is the the Queen of Wands reversed. This is this is somebody that has low self-confidence, low self-worth, and, and low, low self-esteem, you know, so misery truly does love company, so this person is probably feeling like this person doesn't have the strength to do something, you know, upright, this is a very noble queen, so there's a lack of nobility here, Oh my goodness. And then we have this Queen of Cups reversed as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a lack of love. Now you could be dealing with a woman that doesn't, doesn't have a lot of compassion at this time. Maybe something's going on in her life and she doesn't, she doesn't, she's not seeing things clearly, okay? She's not seeing things clearly. She's probably an emotional mess herself. So I think that you, I mean, there's, 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 there's probably, there could be, I mean, we have, we have you and then we have these two other people. So I, but these other two people are like, they could be family members, they could be friends. I don't know who it is. It could be. It could be who, whoever. You've got a fire sign and a water sign here that is impacting you. Here, I think this person, I think, so I think you have a couple different issues here. I think one person is, is really jealous of you. One person is very jealous and they don't want you to be happy for some reason. And they may cause a fight. And then I have, we have this person over here that has to do with your loss. And maybe you've had to heal because of this person. So I think, you know, there's been some regrets here. Um, but I think that you've worked really, really, really hard to master your emotions. And maybe at this time you, you're not mastering them as much as you should be. But I think that You're wasting your time. Not. Yeah, she's some girl. You're wasting your time not cutting this person out, basically. Or one of these, I think it's this one. 
I'm not sure. It could be either one, but seeing it for what it is, because this is the Seven of Swords reversed, you know, this is like, I mean, this is betrayal. It is betrayal. It's lies. It's, it's hurt. I mean, it is major deception, the Seven of Swords. Somebody hit, and it could be two people. Okay, you you've been betrayed. Okay, you have been betrayed, and I'm here. To, you really have to be careful. You really because this is a card of, of be careful, especially in the reverse, because it feels like it feels like something is going to be revealed that is really going to hurt you. Now, this is this this card and this card the same. It's the three of wands, but this one is reversed. So. It, this is like a going into the ground. You know, this, this, this shuttle is going into the ground. It's not going to, it can't go up. It's reverse. It's like somebody's trying to bring you back down. They're trying to bring you down. So be really, really, really careful. I mean, that is the biggest message here. You know, be careful. And you're going to have to keep your composure. Do your best to keep your composure. And that's probably why, that's one of the reasons why this card is here. Because somebody is going to try to get inside. They're going to try to hurt you. You know, so, you know, try to keep it together. Um, change. This is the two of pentacles. And this is happening because change is needed. And you've done a lot of changing. You have. I mean, this is the card, I'm getting the goosebumps. This is the card of seasons. You're not the same person you were. You've been taking big, big, big steps to make changes in your life. You know, and it's like... Pretty soon, all the leaves are going to be off that tree. It's changing. It's changing. You're changing. You're changing for the better because in the spring, you're going to come back full and bright and new. So I think your old, your old skin per se, or, you know, whatever it is that needs to be removed is, is falling But you still have a ways to go. You do have, a, you, if, as far as this process that you're going through, all the hard work that you're doing, you know, you still have a ways to go before the rest falls off. Okay, you do have, a, still have a ways to go. So you are changing. And this person sees that you're changing. They want to see how you can weather this storm, how long you can deal with it. How long can you last? Basically. You might not be comfortable with this change. Four of Pentacles. But because you've been you've been holding on to something for quite some time. You have been holding on for quite some time. But I feel as though you've you've really You have some deep roots here, huh? Some deep roots. I really feel like this is family re related. Okay? I do. I think this has to do with your family. I'm getting the goosebumps again. Really strong. So, I don't, I'm not sure if this is relationship related. This may be within the family. I think that there's some, some something that is being probably uprooted. And um, it's going to probably make you feel uncomfortable. Um, somebody, and it, there could be some family arguments. Um, and you're just going to have to be strong. Jeez, some cry. I wish you could see the goosebumps there, like my whole body. So just beware. I think you're going to receive some undesirable news that 
that allows you to go down a new path, but after you face some sort of fight or adversity. Okay, let's get an outcome here. Um, yeah, you're going to be, because this is the hangman reverse, no longer stuck. You may have been in a period of stagnation with a situation in your family or at where, whatever this is, whether it's relationship, I don't know, you put it to your system, your, your scenario, but this is like, no, this is going to allow you to get back on your feet more easier. You know, it's going to help you to stand up easier. All you got to do is put your feet down, stand up and walk away. So, I mean, I feel like you are going to have to be brave during this situation. And when the situation happens, you're going to have to really discern the situation, okay? Because you're going you're gonna to be tested, okay? Your, your ability to keep it together is going to be tested. So, and it's something that you know is coming, okay? It is something that you know is coming, it's just the time is now. There's going to be, but this this needs to happen so that you can move forward in some way, you know. But I don't know what the hell this is. Destruction, son of a bitch. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the goosebumps, but I don't get the goosebumps like this very often. Um, but something is, in, you know, this is like a, this is like a, a well. Is it obviously something has died? Okay? So something has ended. Some It's done. It's the Ten of Swords. So it feels as though... And then if you remember underneath that Nine of Swords, uh, you know, whether you was uh, ripped apart, you know, just, just beware that you are... You, you, you have some sort of... of completion here that may make you feel really really uncomfortable and it may be um it's what's needed to get you back on your feet and you know that's what happens that's the way it goes big events big changes are what makes us stand up makes us face adversity it makes us you know oh it's it's a fight or flight or flight or fight what right or whatever it is it makes you succeed because sometimes you know people stay stagnant and they stay stuck like this hangman if it was upright for way 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 too long and we need these universal nudges, per se, to push us in the direction that we need to go. So, I oh, look at what's on the bottom, the chariot. This is in the direction that you need to go. It's like heading in a new direction. So, towards victory and success. Forward movement. So, whatever is happening this month may seem a little, very uncomfortable. But... It's going to help you get on your feet in the long run. You know what I'm trying to say? Beware. Beware. With that Seven of Swords reverse, beware. I feel like there's going to be some sort of battle, unfortunately. We have the Seven of Wands twice, okay? There's going to be some sort of battle that you have to overcome. And you will need to be very logical in this situation and... And, and try to keep it together. Try not to let your emotions get the best of you. Um, because there could, I mean, there's going to be, it looks like there's going to be some sort of, of loss. And that could be just a severing of ties with a family member. You know what I mean? Where, or a relationship where the ties get severed and there's a reason for it. You know, there is a reason for it. So, <laughs> because you're being called to, to head in a new direction. Especially with that world card too. That's a, that's a, a that's the biggest completion in the deck, okay? One phase of your life that you once knew is over with that world card. It is. It was a long-term phase. It was something that you really had to go through to get to where you you know, you know, to learn some sort of lesson because the world card is, is a lesson. So there was some lesson that you needed to learn from this phase and now the lesson has been learned and it's about time for you to start a new chapter and it's going to bring whatever this is you're going to get get a payoff out of it 
okay? You're going to get some reward out of it, even though with the Wheel of Fortune, okay, you are. But it may not be the reward that you think it is, okay? And, um, oh, son of a bitch, my mind just went blank. <laughs> it came and it went, whatever it was. It had to do with that reward, that Wheel of Fortune. And it was quick. That's how fast it comes. Son of a bitch. It's going to change your life. Something is happening that is going to change your path. The time is now. Okay? Your life is changing. And it's a major change. It's a major change because you're about to embark on a whole new chapter. A, whole, a, a big one. A big one with the world card and the wheel of fortune and the ten of swords you, and the chariot cards of transformation. Something big is coming. It's going to be uncomfortable at first. But in the end, it's going to, you're going to be on your own two feet. And you're going to be fine. I don't know what the hell this is. But. Um, <laughs> you're definitely going to receive a message that. Changes your direction. Okay. Here's the message. It's, good. it's not going to be a pretty wet message. Okay. It's not. But it's going to change your direction. Okay. Sometimes that's all it takes is a message. One message, whatever those words come out, and it's just like, <laughs> you know, all, oh, you, okay, communication. You're going to receive communication. You're at some family gathering or whatever, and somebody says one wrong word, and pff, sparks fly. So beware, beware. I mean, I'm here to tell you, just beware that, and, and that might be the turning point, okay? Because the, this, the Wheel of Fortune is a turning point. Something is, there's going to be a turning point, okay? Beware. Just beware. And don't don't hurt anybody. So, um, good luck. Oh, oh. Goosebumps, goosebumps. Cl distant thunder. Clear the air. Now, I wish that you could see the goosebumps. I mean, there is going to be some thunder. And it probably isn't going to be pretty. And, you know, you're going to have to be assertive in this situation. You are. You are. Clear the air. Dramatic purification, renewal, and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there is chaos in your life. There absolutely is with the Two of Pentacles, okay? In this instance, it is good it is shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. They do this for me all the time. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. It's time to clear out. Release the old, discarded, and unused. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. It's just summing up my reading. In order for a renewal to occur, the old needs to make way for the new. On the distant horizon, a storm is brewing. A storm is brewing. It says that. On the distant horizon, a storm is brewing. I'm telling you what, they do this for me all the time. Great shards of lightning are, great shards of lightning are thunderbolting to the earth from the heavens. It can feel chaotic, but it heralds a time of renewal. The thunderstorm clears the dust out of the air and re-energizes the earth. Like I said, it's going to put you back on your feet. Be open to change. It's all good, even if it doesn't seem like that. This is kind of just summing up my whole reading. Be open to change. It's all good, even if it doesn't seem like it. Like I told you. You're going to handle it, even though it's going to be, you know, you know. Examine your life and see if there is anything that needs to be cleared, renewed, or released. Now is the time. Renewal 
and even rebirth is at hand. Good luck.